to be able to determine how much machine they need, it, it can be a pretty elusive thing. But by using a torque wrench with our valve key, our valve wrench, they can then connect to the valve and actually measure the amount of torque they need. When it's time to shop for valve exercise, the first thing the customer needs to know is how much torque will they be needing to cover with their valves. It's foolish to buy a machine that's 10 times larger than what they'll really need to have. One of the uh, mistakes that people make is when they look in the operation manual of a valve exerciser, it'll typically say, consult the valve manufacturer for the recommended maximum amount of torque. There's some really serious problems with that thought because first of all, the valve manufacturer doesn't know what the differential pressure is of the valve. Secondly, when a person is getting ready to exercise a valve and it's buried under three or four feet of earth, do they even know who manufactured the valve? Do they know which type of valve it is? So there's a lot of challenges in that. That's why it also goes back to, to getting some real world measurements of the torque in their system using a torque wrench in the, in the valve key. Uh, differential pressure is not discussed very much within water utilities, but has a, a huge effect on how much the operating torque uh, would be required for the valve. Uh, for example, manufacturers will test valves usually at 200 to 250 PSI for their torque test. A typical valve in a water system may only have a differential pressure of 10, 20 PSI depending on the load. To get a better idea of what that differential pressure really means in force, if, there was a, if we take water out of the equation altogether and we're thinking about that gate, that closure element in the valve, to equate to 200 PSI of water pressure, it would take 10,000 pounds of weight to equate to that. That's a tremendous amount of force and most valves will never see that. So being able to study these numbers through torque monitoring with a torque wrench, uh, talk to manufacturers, uh, but it's not just simply to get in a, a, a valve manufacturer's catalog and be able to pull up torque numbers. Let's just take um, a hypothetical small town that has three or four hundred valves in their system. Maybe these valves range in size from four inches up to twelve inches. And they typically know the valves that are troublesome. They, they've had to go out and do maintenance and they know some of the valves that are, that are difficult to operate. By using a torque wrench, and a valve wrench that will accept the torque wrench. They can go out to selected valves and actually measure the torque each valve is, is required. They don't have to look at every valve in the system, spot check. They had three or 400 valves in the system. If they went out and looked at maybe 10 to 20 valves, they'd have a very good idea of how much torque they'll need in a valve exercising machine.